Hello everyone, welcome back. On today's video, I want to talk about shape fields and how they can be used to assign coverage areas to a particular record. Areas of protections are great, not just for visualizing the boundaries themselves, but to overlay other data that might fall within these boundaries. The first step is to create a lookup field on the object we're going to be working with. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, give it a name. And let's go ahead and relate this to geopoint shape. Now the next step is to go to geopoint setup. Let's go ahead and click on the Actions tab. Now you should see the Add Shape action. So let's go ahead and click Edit. Let's check Available Web, Save. Now we're back on the map. Now we want to start associating coverage areas to, to our records. And we can do this by clicking on the Add Shape uh, on the little pop-up. Now, when you click on Add Shape, uh, you will have four options. The first one is a polygon. Uh, so let's go ahead and draw uh, one of these real quick. There's also the option to add lines. So if you wanted to uh, associate uh, the record to maybe like a route, um, you can do that. You can also add circles. I'm going to control the, the size of the radius here. You also have the option to use geo shapes. We'll go ahead and uh, search California. Let's go ahead and expand that state node. And let's scroll and expand zip codes. And in my case, I want to add 928 zip codes. So add zip codes that start with 928. And we'll save that. And as you can see, there's a group of zip codes associated to this record. Now we're going to set up a, a data set that will only load records uh, with these coverage areas uh, upon loading the map. So the first step is um, adding a filter. So we want to add this filter. So um, coverage area is not equal to blank. Now let's go ahead and click on the fields tab. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, add that coverage a lookup field we just created and save and close. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, run this data set. And as you can see, the coverage areas come up. Now we can overlap other data uh, to see, uh, you know, which records uh, fall within, you know, these uh, coverage areas. And if we click on the coverage area, we get a count. Uh, we can even take action. So if you want to add these to a campaign or add them to a route, uh, you can do that very easily. All right. Well, that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.